Hello and Namaste. I'm Ranjana Pradhan back again today with yet another shorter video. Today I'm going to be focusing on beginner's yoga, maybe about 15 minutes as a daily practice if people want to use it. This is going to be useful for them. I hope you'll enjoy it. If you do like it, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and let's get started. Beginning. We're going to tuck, push our head back slightly, tuck our chin down towards our chest, creating this double chin in the front of the neck. Push your chin down as much as you can. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed, your head is slightly pushed back. Now, inhale deep in the center. As you exhale, keeping the chin tucked down, you're going to push your left ear to your left shoulder, right ear pointing up towards the ceiling. Keeping this action really intact, you're going to take your head back, drop it down as far back as you can, then left ear to the left shoulder, and slowly bring the chin down towards the chest again. Two more circles. Again, making sure you're not swinging it around lazily. Make sure you're activating the muscles and feeling the stretch, that sensation that you cannot make, let it slip by. So tuck your chin down towards the chest. Creating that double chin there. Drop your left ear to your left shoulder, right ear pointing up. Start to inhale deep as you drop your head back. Rotate in controlled movement, right ear to your right shoulder, left ear lifted up and slowly chin down to your chest. One more circle this direction. Inhale, start breathing and as you go halfway, and exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, chin down to the chest. Reverse the direction, same movement, breathing in right ear, right shoulder, realizing it's not the compression we're working on, we're working on stretching the opposite side, neck, so lifting the left ear up. Take the head back, and as you exhale, left ear, left shoulder, chin down to the chest. Two more circles. If you can, use your ujjayi breath. If you don't know what that is, try to make a little sound with your breath as you breathe in and breathe out. One more round. Inhale, right ear, right shoulder. Push your head back, relaxing your shoulders. Left ear, left shoulder, chin down to your chest. I would advise if you are a beginner not to close your eyes while you're rotating your head. You might feel slight dizziness there. But once you're used to the practice, it's okay to close your eyes. Relax your shoulders. We're going to go down to the shoulder region. Now we're going to inhale, lift our arms over our head. When we're lifting our arms over our head, make sure the shoulder blades are pushed away from each other. You're not pushing the shoulder blades into each other. You're going into a protraction mode, and then you lift your fingertips up. So you're rounding your upper back and lifting your arms up closer to the ears if you can. Okay, take a deep inhale here. Lengthen your ribs. Then with your left hand, hold your right wrist and pull the right hand behind your head. Give it as much stretch as you can to the right shoulder. Keep looking up, breathing your deep breath here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lift your arms up. Lengthen one more time. Change the side. Hold the left side of the wrist. Inhale. Exhale. Pull the arm towards the left side. If you want to go deeper, push your palm towards the scapula. So pointing your fingers down, lifting your elbow up towards the ceiling, you're going to start to push your ribs slightly to the side. Keep looking up. Feel this intense stretch on your rib cage, your oblique muscles, your armpit, your shoulders. Breathe into it. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale. Lift your arms up over your head. This time interlace your fingers, palms facing up. Deep inhale, we're going to rotate as we exhale our body to the right. Make sure hips are grounded, pushing our body to the right, breathing in two deep breaths here. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, 
As you exhale, you're going to release your left hand to your right knee, right hand behind your hips, and open your shoulders, giving our thoracic spine a nice good twist. So with every exhale, you're going to open your right shoulder wider to the back. Breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly drop your left hand down besides the left, right, the right knee. Right hand walks besides. And slowly see if you want to drop your forehead or your chin down towards your right knee. Extend your arms out if you wish to. Keep pushing your left hip and knee down towards the mat. Stretching the lateral side of your body, upper body, left side. Breathing into it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift your head up. Exhale, walk your hand back. Take your arms, interlace your fingers. Lift them over your head. Inhale, one more time. Deep breath in. Use the strength in your thoracic spinal region. Muscles working as you twist your body to the left. Breathing deep and long. Five, four, three, two, and one. Once again, as you exhale, right hand on your left knee, left hand behind. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, rotate, look over to the back. From your thoracic spine to your cervical spine, giving them a nice good twist. Breathe into that space you're creating. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, exhale, drop your right hand outside the left knee, left hand beside, and slowly drop your forehead down. Feel the compression on the left side and stretching on the right side. Your diaphragm muscles also stretching. Your serratus anterior, the hundreds of muscles around that area needs a good long stretch. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale. Lift your head up. Walk your hand back. Untwist your body. Come back to the starting position. So felt that work in your thoracic region. We're going to go around to the belt, the core region of our body. Extend our legs out softly. Be gentle with your body, maintaining the integrity. Be elegant with every move that you make. Okay, we're going to place our fingers pointing to the front, hands behind the hips. Expand and open your shoulders. We're going to lift our legs up. Okay. Your toes are in the level of your eyes. Take your hands for support. And we're slowly going to open our legs up and pull the knee to the chest back. Ten times. Two and back. Three and back. Four and back. Five and back. Six and back. Seven, and back, eight, and back, nine, and back one more time. Extend, feel the core muscles engage. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Pull your knees in, cross your shin, place your heels behind your buttock, lift your buttock up, go into a tabletop position. Exactly like a table, your hands, arms, and your legs have to be strong and straight. Your wrist below your shoulders, your knees below your hips. Okay, make sure your abdomen is pulled in. We're going to do three rounds of spinal mobility, cat-cow position. Just dropping the button down towards the mat. Take a deep inhale. Just lift your chest outward and upward. And lift your ears away from your shoulders. As you exhale, pull your stomach in. Round your back. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale. Drop your belly button down. Lift your chest outward. 
and upward with your ears away from your shoulders. Exhale, round your back, pull your belly button and tuck your chin into your chest. Create this round shape with your back and tie your back. One more time, inhale, roll your body out to the front and lift your ears away from your shoulders. Hold the position for a moment. Exhale, rounding your back, pull your abdomen in as much as you can. Tuck your chin into your chest, round your entire back. Stay here for a moment and slowly come back into the starting position. I'm going to go into a slight back bend. Walk your hands out to the front. Look up to the front. And as much as you can, keeping your hips over your um, knees, drop your chin down towards the mat. We're working on the upper back and the shoulder region, opening them up. Breathing deep and long. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your elbow down. Slowly slide your body forward. Push your hip or your pelvic bone towards the mat. Actively point your toes to the back and lift your chest outward and upward. We're going to stay here for 30 seconds because we're starting to warm up the lower back region. Sphinx position, close your eyes if you wish to, breathing deep and long. Make sure your hips are pushed down, your toes are pointed back, your ears are lifted up, chest pushed out. Breathing, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Slowly lift your hips. Release the work you've done on your back. As you go into Sashanka Asana, hips over your heels. Push your buttocks down. Lower your head onto the mat, your abdomen, and on your thighs. If your head is not touching the ground, take your knees slightly away. And release your lower back and relax for a moment. Normal breath in and out. We just worked on the lower back. Now we're going to go into the hip region. Okay, bringing our hands in place. We're just going to start moving the knees and the ankles together to the side. Again, as much as you can to begin with, slowly your hips open up and then you get deeper. Maybe go into your elbows after a month or two. Then you just start shaking and rocking your hips front and back. Great workout, a great practice for your hip region, your abductors, your adductors, your gluteus muscles as well. Keep breathing deep and long. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Hands down on the mat. Tuck your toes in. Lift your knees up. Push your toes down into the mat. Your index finger and your thumb of both your hands pushing into the mat. Your middle finger pointing up, pull your stomach in, push your tailbone down towards the mat, going into the posterior pelvic tilt, and push your toes down as you go into other Mukhaswanasana, downward facing dog. If you're a beginner and your heels don't touch down, you can bend your knees, keep your back straight, tailbone lifting up, abdomen pulled in. If you can, drop both your heels down to the mat. Normal breath. Stay here for as long as you wish to. It's such a great position to uh, check on your strength of your body. Your hands, your legs, your hips, your back, 
you can evaluate your entire body strength in this posture. Now slowly lift your heels up. Take baby steps. Come to the front of the mat. Make sure your stomach is pulled in all the while. Slowly walk wherever you can. Try as much as possible to get to the front of the mat. Roll your back one vertebrae at a time, pushing your heel into the ground. Take a deep breath in. Roll your shoulders back and come into a standing position. So we're going to do two or three standing postures before we go lie down in Savasana. Okay. First, getting your heels together if you feel very balanced. Then you get your heels closest. If you feel you're not too balanced, then slightly away from each other. Interlace your fingers, palms on top of your head, palms facing up. We're slowly going to start lifting our heels off the ground and taking our hands up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, drop the hand down, drop the heel down. Two more times. Inhale, keep your focus at a point that is not moving to help you get the stability there. Deep inhale, exhale, slowly lower down. One more time. Inhale, lift. Give yourself a good push up towards the ceiling. Feel your calf muscles working. Deep breath in and slowly lower down. Release, relax. Take your legs slightly away from each other. <clears throat> Arms to the side. Actively engage and extend them out. Inhale in the center. As you exhale, you're going to rotate your upper body. Take your right hand to your left shoulder. Look at your left thumb. Inhale and exhale. Keep going. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Make sure the elbow doesn't drop. It's in the level of your shoulders all the while. And you're twisting your upper body as much as you can. Keeping your feet very strongly stable on the mat. Two more Exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, down. Giving it that ability that the entire midsection of your body needs. Take your legs shoulder distance apart and level with the shoulders slightly more than the hips. We're going to take our right arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lift and lengthen again. Again, it's more important to lengthen than to go deeper into the posture. Remember to lengthen and lift. And as you exhale, lower your head to the left, arms to the left. Push your ribs out to the right. Make sure your hips are strong, your legs are strong on the ground, and just your ribs are pushing out to the right. Look towards your right. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back to the center. We're going to change the arm, left arm up. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, stabilize your hips. Just your ribs go out to the side. Arms and heads to the other side. Look to the left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale. Come back up. One more time. Lift and lengthen. Exhale. Soften your body muscles and let them fall to the side. Hips only stable. Feet also stable. Just your upper body going into a nice side bend. Three, two, one. Come back up one last time on the other side. Inhaling, lift and lengthen. Exhaling, bend to the side. Keep your hips in line. Strong feet on the ground. Look to the opposite side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale up to the center. Exhale, release. 
Bring your hands to your waist and circle your hips. Again, another controlled articular rotations, making sure you have the movement in your control. It is not getting lazy. It's going to the end of the range of motion. Push to the left, front, right, and back. Take it as far as your hips can go. One more in this direction. Inhale, exhale. Reverse the direction. Inhale and exhale. Keep moving. This is again an elementary practice, but very effective for your buttocks, your thigh, your hip region especially. Two more in this direction. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Beautiful. Slowly lower down yourself into a squat. We're going to sit here either on your heels or on your toes, whatever feels good for you. Just for a moment, trying to push the thigh into your calves. So activate the pressure points in the calf region and just stay here for a moment. Keep that action on. Breathing. Five. Four, push your toes into the ground, the balls of your feet into the ground. Three, two, and one. Slowly lower your hips down. Lie down on your mat. Toes out to the side, hands beside your body. Palms facing up, fingers slightly curved, eyes gently closed. 